On the banks of the Kalka River, thousands of Rus were killed by the Mongols. The hunters had become the hunted. But in the years leading up to this Mongol raid in the west, Genghis Khan had been focusing his attacks on the east and the Qin dynasty of northern China. Controlling wealthy lands and trade routes, Qin cities overflowed with riches. In 1210, the Qin's new ruler, seeing Genghis Khan as a threat, demanded that he swear loyalty to him. Genghis Khan refused. To the Qin, this defiance was a declaration of war. The Qin had a huge army, and their territory was protected by vast fortifications. Known today as the Great Wall. The Mongols had never faced a more formidable enemy. Genghis Khan knew the only way to defeat the Qin would be to take their heavily defended capital city, Zhongdu, on the other side of the Great Wall. Genghis Khan would be committing his people to a long, hard war. Would the rewards be worth the cost? For answers, he looked to the gods. Climbing a sacred mountain, he prayed to the eternal sky. After four days, he received his answer. The Mongols would be victorious. With divine reassurance, the Mongol army set out across the steppe. They must break through the Great Wall to destroy the Qin dynasty and further expand the Mongol Empire.